Hi and welcome to another video on the IGCSE uh, walkthroughs and what we're going to look at today is the 2011 paper, the Edexcel IGCSE ICT 2011 paper and um, I'm on the front cover at the moment, go through to page two which tells me my instructions for candidates and of course it tells us five tasks to follow, five activities do all the activities in task order. Of course, if you find you can't do one, then go on. Go on to the next one and then come back to it later. And make sure you put your name, candidate number on every page. And then down here it tells us there's five activities. There's uh, image editing using paint.net, spreadsheet software using Excel, word processing using Word, database software using uh, access and presentations using PowerPoint. Uh, but for all activities, you'll also need to use word processing software. And then we have a scenario which tells us the context of the task. So this is important because you'll need that during the activity. Anyway, using art, imaging, and graphic software, of course, that will be paint.net. Karen wants the logo for the indoor pentathlon. She has started to create a logo, this is stated as Penma, and it tells us um, it tells us to open a new word processing document, enter task AG1 on the footer, and your name uh, as well, and save its task AG1. So I'm going to open up Word, create a new document. Um, bizarrely, I can't type in there, I don't know why. I'm going to open up um, an old document. Um, I'm going to open up an old document. Um, oh. Let's see if I can go to my documents here. For some reason I can't open it. Here we go. I'll open up an old document and we'll go File, New. I think this is the best way of doing it. Like so, a bit of a cheating way. Um, there it says task age you want in your name of the footer. So insert uh, header footer. There we go, footer in the middle. So in the left, you write, write task age you want. Center, I'm going to delete. And on the right, I'm going to write my full name and candidate details. Okay. And you save this as file, save as task age you want to uh, the folder you had earlier, you would have. Okay, now go back, it says insert the graphic PEMMA into the document. Sounds easy, so let's find folder. Find it, why not? Here we go, PEMMA, there we are. Drag that in. Ah, that doesn't look very good. What's the question? Insert the graphic. Okay, we've got one mark there. Perfect. Karen is not happy. Use text boxes to identify two aspects of the design which should be improved. So you have to use text boxes here. So the picture isn't very, is not very clear. It's very blurry. And the writing, um, you need to use contrast and colors there. So insert, shape, and I'm going to choose one of these callouts down here. Here we go. Uh, one of which will say um, picture is blurry. And the other one here put there will say uh, writing is um, uh, not clear, uh, need uh, contrast in the colors. Okay, going back, it says resave, do not print. Okay, so control S, and it says open up a suitable graphics package. That'll be paint.net, and I think I've got that open here, yes. I have a portable uh, software, which is easy. Is 
So that should open up there, perfect. Going back, it says uh, the logo must include one image from the, you need a logo for it, the Intel Pentathlon. Logo must include one image from the graphics file, the letters PFC. And then check that you're finished and save and add to that document. Okay, so paste it to the document. So let's go to uh, File, Open, oops, and I'm going to create this again. I've obviously created this before. Um, now, interesting enough, I'm going to have to put my hard disk in. find these other files. Uh, oh, I can see what we've got to do. So it says one image from the graphics file. Okay, in here you need to open up the graphics file right there and one image and we're going to have pentathlon. So I'm going to have this one here. Copy, and we'll see if this works, and paste. Now that's quite small, so uh, maybe the best way to do this actually instead is to just right click on the picture, like so, and we'll save this in the folder. And I'll put logo, go back, file, open, and desktop like so and it wants us to put PFC I think yes so I'm going to add so if you want to make it bigger camera size image canvas size height 450 uh, why doesn't that work image canvas size 450 Numlock, press OK, right there, and then I can then add the writing at the bottom, PFC. And if I got to the font, I can make it bigger, move it, and I can perhaps make the writing different as well. There, that's good. And it tells us to save it. Check, save it as PFC, and paste the copy in that other document. So file, save as, bfc, like so. And then paste it in this document. So where is it? There we are. Right. Drag it in. Um, maybe just move this down a bit. No. Make that smaller. There we go. There. And I think the next part, it does tell us to explain in document, task AG1, why your design is important. Okay. Well, uh, on the improvement. Well, very simple. Um, this, this is an improvement on the previous design because the image is simple. Okay, clip art and the writing is kept separate from the picture, like so. Um, and once you've done that, then you just go file and save, <coughs> file and save, and then file and print. And that is task AG1, uh, that is task one completed. Thank you very much for watching. Look forward to seeing the next video, which will be on spreadsheets.